Hello, I'm going to talk about physical therapy today. I've been to a lot of um, physical um, therapy sessions. Um, I started out going to therapy because um, before I was formally diagnosed, they classified what I have as, as weakness. And at the same time that I began like seriously trying to figure out what was wrong with me, I had like a, a an injury, a shoulder injury, in this, <laughs> a shoulder injury, and that was actually due to my Parkinson's. I was like trying to get off my bed and in the morning, and somehow because I was so stiff and I couldn't move that well, I um. I, I fell and uh, I didn't break my shoulder but um, it took like forever for it to heal and what happened is that it froze and then the next shoulder froze. So I went to a specialist and they seemed to be more interested into like why, you know, why it wasn't healing and why it was like freezing and why the shoulder froze and um, they noticed things with my motion. So that was just part of my like diagnosis. Um, and they sent me to a physical therapist and they did the typical like exercises that I had to do. And then later on when I was diagnosed with Parkinson's, I went to another physical therapist, but this time it was a specialist in Parkinson's and it was a lot different. The first specialist she knew that um, perhaps I had Parkinson's, but really that was not her specialty. She was more like a, um, a physical therapist that worked with like athletes, um, and that was more her specialty. So I'm sure she had worked with some Parkinson's, but she had no experience with anyone with early or young onset Parkinson's and had not really, in general, worked with a lot of Parkinson's. But um, specifically, I went to someone that specializes in Parkinson's, and that was a lot different. And at the time, um, I had a lot of motion problems that the, the medication I take now masks. So it's not like the problems have gone away, and they come back every now and then. But again, the medicine, it only like relieves the symptoms for a certain period of time. And for me, it relieves the symptoms for three hours, then I take more medication. Um, so with the uh, specialist, it was a lot different, like I was saying. So when I went into her, I was having problems turning. And what I mean by that is that I wouldn't just turn. Um, I would like pivot around, almost like I'd forgotten how to turn. And um, the neurologist said that I was freezing and it's kind of like typical of some of the motion problems that some of us have and um, it's because of the lack of dopamine so we can't like initiate a movement or we forget how to move it's not that we can't move it's just that we have to move in a different way we have to train our brain to move a different way and also um, yeah, it's just not automatic. That's the big thing about Parkinson's. If you have motion problems, everything, every single movement is not automatic. Um, you have to think about it. So she taught me that. Um, I was also having a, a, a lot of different problems to do with motion. So another problem was that I could walk forward okay, but I couldn't work, walk backwards. Um, so she helped me with that. Um, she gave me like um, different like exercises to do, like a normal physical therapist. Um, yeah, so you kind of get the idea. So I think it is worthwhile to make sure that you go to a physical therapist early rather than wait. I have now met a lot of um, older people with Parkinson's and a lot of them have had Parkinson's for 20, 30 years and they've never been to a physical therapist. I tend to find that, and this is just my generalization, that a lot of people with Parkinson's are very nice people that are very patient and they don't complain and maybe it's just 
that the people I meet are a lot older and so they have other diseases to worry about versus me being a, a little bit younger. I don't have any other disease other than the Parkinson's. So maybe, you know, I'm over focused on that, but I do believe in getting as much therapy as you can, especially if it's covered by insurance and you don't have to pay extra. I think it is important. Um, and anything we can do now, I think is beneficial. So I was lucky that my neurologist is a head of like a, um, I forgot what they call it. I think it's integrated medicine team. So like you go to the clinic and it not, unfortunately not everyone can go. They, I think they can only accept a few people at a time, but, um, you go in and then you get analyzed by a physical therapist, an occupational therapist, a speech therapist, the, and the neurologist, and I think there was a social worker too. So check on those programs. Um, there might be like a hospital system that has a special Parkinson's program. Usually the program is not like, it doesn't specialize in young or early onset. Although I think, you know, this is just me saying this, that if you are young or early, they might be, you know, more, a little bit more interested um, in getting you in because you are younger and not typical of the usual Parkinson's population. So that's what I have to say on physical therapy and I'll be talking a little bit about other types of therapy, including more holistic therapies later on.